हेलो माय डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यू आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर एट सिस्ट ऑफ द लिवर In this lecture, we will see the parasitic cyst, that is the hydrated cyst of the liver, the non-parasitic cyst of the liver like solitary cyst, multiple cyst, lymphatic cyst, endothelial cyst, blood and degenerative cyst, dermoid cyst, and cystoadenomas. All these are we learn in this lecture. Now, cyst of the liver. Cyst of the liver are generally benign, may be unilocular or multilocular, and these are the hydrated cyst. retention cyst solitary cyst and multiple cyst polycystic disease lymphatic cyst endothelial cyst blood and degenerative cyst dermoid cyst cyst adenoma mainly classified into two major groups of this cyst of the liver one is parasitic cyst that is the hydrated cyst and second is the non parasitic cyst that is the other variety described as above you can see on your screen that is there is a solitary cyst single cyst is seen and another slide is the film of the ct scan where the multiple cysts are seen in the image of the liver and third slide is showing the lymphatic cyst of the liver and this fourth slide image showing the endothelial cyst of the liver and this next slide is showing the blood and degenerative cyst of the liver this another images of ct scan showing the dermoid cyst of the liver next slide showing the dermoid cyst of the liver and next slide showing the cystoadenoma of the liver now non parasitic cyst which we seen in our uh, photographs the pathology of the non parasitic cyst are single non parasitic cyst are usually situated on the antero inferior surface of the right lobe cyst contains a clear watery yellowish brown material clinical features of these non parasitic cysts are cyst are usually a symptomatic swelling is only complained which is painless and investigation as a ct scan usg and angiography treatment is excision of cyst this is the treatment of choice simple next slide showing the hydrated cyst of the liver hydrated cyst the pathology behind that is the condition is caused by the parasite Ichinococcus granulosus unilocular cyst is almost always caused by ichinococcus granulosus while alveolar type may be caused by ichinococcus multicollaris dogs are the chief medicator of hydrated cyst eggs of echinococcus are discharged through the feces of the dog and this contaminated the grass and grass eaten by the animals human beings is also affected either by taking the uncooked vegetables contaminated with infected canine feces or by direct handling of the infected dogs by allowing the dog to feed from the same dish now the morphology of the hydrated cyst is adult worm is a small type worm measuring 3 to 6 mm in length comprises a head or scolex neck and trobila three segments immature mature and gravid eggs is a whole in shape contains a hexacanth embryo with space of hooks life cycle eggs are discharged with the feces of the definitive host swallowed by the intermediate host uh, and human beings in duodenum the hexacanth embryos are hatched out the embryos bore their way through the intestinal wall and enters the radicle of the portal vein in in about an 8 hours arrested in the sinusoidal capillaries is the first filter some of the embryos may pass through the hepatic capillaries and enter the pulmonary circulation that is the second filter and it become the uh, and causes for the hydrated cyst of the lungs which is there whenever the embryo settles it form the hydrated cyst broad capsules with a number of colli cells are developed a fully developed collex is an end product and it presents inside the hydrated cyst is a sign of complete biological development of that cyst hydrated cyst formed by embryo consists three layers adventitia the laminated membrane and the inner germinal layer adventitia fibrous tissue and gray in color the laminated membrane 
एक्टोसिस्ट फॉर्म बाय पैरासाइटिक सेल्स इनर जर्मिनल लेयर एंडोसिस्ट सेल्युलर एंड नंबर न्यूक्लियर एम्बेडेड इन प्रोटोप्लाज्मिक मास कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द हाइड्रेटिड फ्लूड्स आर इट इज अ क्लियर एंड कलरलेस फ्लूड कंटेन्स सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम सल्फेट सोडियम फॉस्फेट सोडियम एंड कैल्शियम साल्ट एंड सक्सिनिक एसिड एंटीजेनिक एंड हाईली टॉक्सिक गिवज राइज टू एनाफेलेक्टिक सिम्टम्स इफ इट इज स्प्रेड इन द पेरिटोनल कैविटी ड्यूरिंग द ऑपरेशन न द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ द हाइड्रेटिड सिस्ट ऑफ द लिवर इज रिमेन्स सिम्टम लेस फॉर अ क्वाइट अ लॉन्ग टाइम सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोर्स वेन प्रेशर कॉज टू एडजस्टेंट ऑर्गन्स पेन फ्यूअर विथ चिल्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन्स इंट्राबिलरी रप्चर कॉमनेस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेशन सपोरेशन सेकंड कॉमनेस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेशन कॉज बाय बैक्टेरिया फ्रॉम द बिलरी ट्रैक टर्न्स इन टू अ पायोजेनिक एफ्रेसिस विथ डेथ ऑफ द पैरासाइट्स इंट्राबेरिटोनल रप्चर कॉन्टेमिनेटेड ऑफ पेरिटोनियम विथ हाइड्रेटेड फ्लूड ब्लड कैप्सूल एंड क्लाइसिस सिस्ट इन सुपेरियर पोर्शन ऑफ द लिवर पुश इन टू द प्लूरल कैविटी विथ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एम्पाइमा एंड ब्रांको प्लूरल फिस्टुला Lung is also a primary site of the hydrated cyst. Now the special investigation is to be done in the hydrated cyst of the liver. R blood examination reveals eosinophilia of 20 to 25 percent increase. Serological test like indirect hemagglutination test, Cassonis test, and complement fixation will be positive. Cassonis test is the intradermal injection of 0.2 ml of fresh sterile hydrated fluid produces a veil of 5 cm in a diameter within a half an hour radiographically calcification of the cyst wall usg and arteriography ct scan all these are investigation is to be done differentiation is extremely essential as per percutaneous needle aspiration which is treatment of pyogenic and amoebic liver abscess will cause spillage and spread of the cyst to cause disaster now the treatment primarily surgical excision hepatic cavity remains after excision of hydrated cyst it should be treated suturing and closure of the cavity omentoplasty and marsupialization and drainage this is the line of treatment in surgical excision of hepatic cyst antiscolidal solution is to be inserted in that cyst that is the chlorhexidin 80% of alcohol and 5% of cetrimide will destroy the 80 to 90% of the scolysis what is the marsupialization marsupialization is the convergence of a closer cavity into an open pouch by incising it and suturing the edges of its wall to the edges of the wound that is the marsupialization dear friends here is the end of our surgery lecture number 8 You can also refer some good videos with animation are available on the YouTube you can watch it to clear the concepts of hydrated cyst of the liver and the cyst of the liver thank you